Merci, Mr. Urkuyu. Regional ministers, delegates, experts in VET, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And thank you so much for coming to this international VET event and for allowing me a few words to speak to you. There are many people here today, experts in this field, and I know over the next couple of days you're going to be talking about your experiences. You'll be helping us with your knowledge. And the truth of the matter is, today's reality is changing immensely. What for us today is new, tomorrow will be obsolete. What today are new technologies will be old technologies just tomorrow. But does that mean that we can do anything just so we can progress? What's ethical? What isn't ethical? Where are the limits to all of this? And if there are any limits to this, who decides on them? And what do they base their decisions on? Humankind and technology in a new, near future are two sides of a coin that are going to have to be combined. We'll be talking about that over the next couple of days. Commissioner Schmidt shares his viewpoint. Thanks to him for his words. We all share the same idea, the idea of technological development. And technological development is going to require that we clearly strengthen the role of humankind. We are finding out about increasingly complex environments, and it's really important that we understand that in the next 20 years, it's not going to be a world of progressive changes, but rather a world of disruptive changes. However, this reality shouldn't frighten us. It should motivate us. Of course, many people may be concerned about what's unknown, but the, it's also something that can stimulate us. What we're clear on is that we need to be prepared for these changes, and we will be. Every day we take a step in that direction. And today, thanks to this event, we're progressing. The challenge of the future is very simple, but actually, We need to be able to combine technology and humankind. We need to be able to combine technological progress with an ethical way of seeing things. Our model is sustainable human development. What does that mean? mean it means that progress should always be human-centered. Knowledge, creativity, and talent are things that people have. It's people who lead changes. It's also people who decide where the limits are. They need to be prepared in different skills, in human values. In fact, VAT in general is key to all of this in the Basque Country. This is just one additional indicator of Basque vocational education and training, which is consolidated and which we attach a great deal of importance to. You can see that from results. Over the last six years, the number of students studying VET has increased by 30%. And also, there's an increase in the participation of girls in STEM subjects. O over 139 companies have been created since 2018. And nine out of each every 10 students of VET actually get a job straight after graduating. These results are good. And I'd like to thank VET for achieving them. It's great that VET is dealing with this idea, this idea of putting human values before a technological advance. We've always defended education and training. They need to be quality. And we want to carry on with that challenge. We want to face what is unknown and prepare for it. We know it won't be an easy path to follow, but 
clearly new technologies and humankind should go hand in hand in the future and in the short, short term. We're sure that we'll manage to achieve that goal and we're taking huge steps forwards towards that today. Thank you so much and I wish you an enjoyable stay. Thank <laughs> you.